How you doing, Jonesy? I'm good. Awesome. All Fucking right. fantastic. All right. Ladies Without... and gentlemen, we have Jonesy bringing to you the puppet piece called the Goldilocks and the, the Three Kraken. Just a second ago. There we go. Hi. Hi, Dragon. Okay, I need you to do something for me in uh, 30 seconds or less. I need a non-lethal object that one could hold in a hand. And, no, I mean I actually need a no There it is. Okay, now we can start. I present to you Goldilocks and the three Kraken. <clears throat> when we say puppet, you say show. Puppet. Show. Puppet. Show. Bo, thanks for inviting me here. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a girl named Goldilocks who was on the lam from a long string of breaking and entering jobs. With the popo -po closing in and nowhere else to go, she decided to try her uh, <laughs> try her hand at deep sea diving. So she cobbled together a bathosphere out of stolen televisions and vacuum cleaners, and she decided to dive beneath the ocean. <laughs> when she reached the bottom of the ocean, she realized that she was very cold very hungry. She found herself outside a house that was built into the coral reef. So, taking a deep breath, dropping the puppet, and grabbing her goldy lockpicks, she swam out and soon made her way inside. Boop. The inside was warm and cozy and incomprehensibly filled with oxygen. What a convenient narrative device, cried Goldilocks. <laughs> Looking around for something to eat or steal. Her eyes rested on a table upon which were three bowls. A large bowl, a very large bowl, and an even yet slightly larger bowl. All three bowls were filled with seaweed. Ooh, Gomo Wakame, cried Goldilocks. Using her lockpicks as chopsticks, Goldilocks decided to eat the seaweed salad in the large bowl. Eh, this one's too vinegary, she said, and she threw it into the audience. Goldilocks made her way to the very large bowl. Mm, this one's too sticks in my teeth, so I have to floss. E. Goldilocks made her way to the even yet slightly larger bowl, which had been sitting around for a few days and had fermented into a giant bowl of seaweed wine. This one's just right, she said, and she drank it all up. But of course, Goldilocks hadn't eaten much that day. So she got really drunk and passed out under the table. Blah. Soon, who should come home but the large Kraken? All by himself, as though the puppeteer didn't have enough hands to tell the story properly. Oh my god, our dinner is ruined! There's a drunk girl passed out under the, under the table and I don't have any idea what's happened to our priceless collection of three chairs and three beds. <laughs> Goldilocks awoke to this commotion and like any good home invader, promptly shot the, shot the large kraken in the head. Blam! <laughs> Ever the pragmatist, Goldilocks went to the kitchen, grabbed a knife, and ring, 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 carved a large kraken into a very fashionable wetsuit, and a four-course sushi dinner. And she wasn't cold, and she wasn't damp, and she wasn't even hungry. Nom, 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 nom. 
But soon Goldilocks missed the fresh air and sunshine. Not smelling all the inedible Kraken parts that she'd stuffed underneath the bathroom sink. So, Goldilocks decided to climb back into her bathosphere and go back to the surface. When Goldilocks reached the surface, Yeah, she did. So she exited her vessel and climbed ashore. But when she reached the, the island and stepped out of the water, a booming voice said, Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a lady's bun. And Goldilocks said, I think you're in the wrong story, Mr. Island. And the island said, I'm not an island. I'm the very large crockett, and you killed my brother. And Goldilocks said, how did you know I killed your brother? And the very large island said, you're wearing a skin, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> and Goldilocks said, yes, I did kill and eat your brother, but he was too vinegary and oily, so now I'm going to eat you. And uh, Goldilocks grabbed a water bottle. <laughs> and somehow used that water bottle uh, to carve the large crack, the very large kraken, into bite-sized pieces, hollowing each piece out and filling it with a delightful mixture of rice, garlic, and pine nuts. And so, Goldilocks ate very large stuffed calamari for days and days, and the island of the very large kraken got smaller and smaller. The meat got ranker and ranker. Seagulls. <coughs> And Goldilocks was still hungry, so she decided to go beneath the waves in her junkyard submarine. Almost immediately upon diving, she found herself face to face with the even yet slightly larger Kraken. Wow, I didn't expect to find you that fast, said Goldilocks. And the even yet slightly larger Kraken said, well, the story's running a little long, so. And, and Goldilocks said, look, I ate your brother, the large kraken, but he was too vinegary. And I ate your sister, the very large kraken, but she was too islandy. So now I'm going to eat you. And the even yet slightly larger kraken said, No, Goldilocks, don't eat me. I have a brother, an older brother, who's even bigger and even fresher and even more organic than I am. Eat him instead and spare me. And Goldilocks said, Go thither and... Deliver me to this elder sibling that I might gourmandize his sinews for my abiding repast. <laughs> and the even yet slightly larger Kraken said, that, that, That's some pretty big words. <laughs> and Goldilocks said, It's a high class audience. <laughs> and the even yet slightly larger Kraken said, Do you want to see where my brother lives now? And Goldilocks was like, Yeah, okay. Even a slightly larger kraken said, he lives behind that door. <laughs> and Goldilocks said, you mean that grotesque stone molding like a great barn door with crazily elusive angles of carbon rock? And the even yet slightly larger kraken said, yep. <laughs> and Goldilocks said, I. And so Goldilocks let the even yet slightly larger Kraken go, and she swam towards the monstrously carved portal. But as she touched it, it opened through the fabric of reality. And the even yet slightly larger Kraken's elder sibling, who happened to be the great priest Cthulhu, emerged. Ravening for delight. And the great Cthulhu lumbered forth slobberingly to teach mankind new ways to shout and kill and revel and enjoy themselves in a holocaust of ecstasy and madness, pausing only to sweep up Goldilocks into his flabby claw and throw her whole into his gibbering mouth. And Cthulhu lived happily ever after. <laughs>